Okay, you guys, so I'm currently exporting a video right now, and typically in this portion of the editing process, I go ahead and jump into my absolute favorite photo editor, Photoscape X Pro. This is 100% free. You download it as a trial, by the way, link will be in the description down below. However, it is an unlimited time trial which means basically you're locked out of certain features, but the trial will last indefinitely. And by the way, the features that you're locked out of are things like stickers and um, a couple of editing things that I have not come to need so far. And it's a lot of these like Instagram filtery type things that if you know how to edit, you don't need. And the reason this is my favorite photo editor is not only can I come in here and make my YouTube thumbnails, but it will also edit raw photos. So if I come over here to my hard drive, I can go to my New York folder from our New York trip and then go to my pictures. And then inside of my pictures are all these. And if you see there's duplicates because I have my camera set up to take a JPEG picture and a raw picture. The format that this uses is .rw2, which is a raw two file. So let's say I want to edit a raw photo I will click that I can double click it if I want to see it larger the raw files do take quite a bit longer to open because it's a 22.6 megabyte file size versus a 8.9 megabyte that's one of the benefits of raw is that you're not getting a post-processed picture you're getting the full raw image and then if you hit shift enter you jump into the editor now once you're in the editor as you can see this is sort of reminiscent of Adobe Lightroom. However, I actually prefer this over Lightroom. I like the layout a little bit better. And I like the fact that you get some of them, you know, the Instagram filters, or you can put stickers on here. Or you can add different backgrounds and borders and add text in here and all these different things that you can't do in the Adobe Lightroom program. And this is free. So right here you have all these different things and the where it says pro those are the things that you're locked out of without paying if you pay it's thirty dollars it's a one-time fee and you own it from then on it's not subscription based and 30 bucks is not too bad you get to put all these weird filters and you can change them instead of being you know the entire picture you can make it a mask you can edit the mask you can change the style of the mask you can actually hand draw it in there and all these different things. Also, you have a compare button to see before and after. And if you happen to hit apply, it's not stuck forever. Hit control Z and it will take it back off. You still have the undo and redo feature on here. You have all these different things. You can turn it to a water painting, a mosaic. And then other than these limited use type things, you have your general editing up here in your adjustments, your colors, your crop. You can add vignette. If you come over here, one more tab to the right, color. This is your more advanced color editing. And just like all the other things, you can also see your compare before and after. And if you're editing in raw, you probably know that you can really push these photos a lot further without getting any sort of distortion or anything like that. So a raw photo typically is going to edit better than a JPEG because you have much more information for this program to work with. And just so that you guys know, if you click this cog in the top right, you'll notice that it is GPU accelerated. So if there's any sort of processes that can be accelerated or processed by the GPU, if you have a GPU installed, this will take advantage of that. So now that you've seen the edit and the color, if we come over to here to film, you have these what I was calling these Instagram type filters, which you get a decent variety of them. And then see down here, it says pro. Some of these are locked out on the pro, but as you can see, something like this, if you know how to do the color edits, you can do this all manually. So no, the pro is not a requirement. It simply unlocks more presets is what the pro version does for the film section. And then you have all these different things. I like the light leaks, though I think the light leaks are cool. I think if I was to buy the pro, it would probably be for either the light leaks or possibly the lens flares. And if you guys haven't noticed, if you look down here, you can adjust the amount that you have it. So let's say I'm gonna click that and you can adjust how much of the percentage that you have it. You can adjust the type just like you can in Adobe programs. And then you can do the compare before and after. I'm gonna go back to none on this one. And then certain ones like the lens flare, it's actually built as a mask. So let's say I wanna use this lens flare. I can come in here, I can grab it, 
and move it how I want it. So let's say I want it to come off the clock and I want it to be facing down here. Boom, how's that look? And then just like the other ones, you can adjust your brightness, you can adjust your scale, you can actually tint these to make it, let's say I want it red. And that is how much flexibility that you have with this program. So I'm gonna go back to none. And there are a very large variety of these. If you come into the frame section, you have these frames. If you want it to look like a postcard or something like that. And just like all the other sections, they have certain pro ones that you're locked out of. But for the free one, you get a, a quite a good selection. I personally have not come across a pro one that I just had to have. Now, if you want, like I said, 30 bucks is not too bad. You have frames, you have shapes. So you can turn this into a shape. You also have these different borders over here to give it its own look. So I'm gonna cancel that out. And then you can come to the insert. Insert arrows, lines, text box, figures. This is how I come up with a lot of my YouTube thumbnails. I'll go to a PNG. It does accept and utilize PNG photos. So I can copy that, drag it in there. And then as you see, it does fully utilize the transparent background of the PNG. And then you can grab that and then you can delete that out. You have text, which you can change the text, the outline, the drop shadow, the outer glow, gradients, all sorts of stuff. You have a huge variety of what you can do. And then you have these filters where you can change just like on the first page, except you can put it into more of a box. And then over here you have tools, which gives you even more options. So you have this warp tool, just like Adobe. And it has the strength and all these different options that you could want. I'm gonna make the brush size large. I wanna pucker up the clock. Pucker me, bro. Nice. Now, if you notice, this is editing for a single photo. If you come up here, you have batch edits where you can copy and paste edits from one photo across a whole slew of photos. So if you went out and did a professional photo shoot and it was all done within an hour in the same light, same setting, instead of sitting here and having to go through and manually do all these different changes, you just copy and paste it to the whole batch. You also have an option for collages where you can drop in several different pictures to different collage frames. There are some pro frames, but there's a lot of free ones that are very, very cool. You can change the texture and the color and the pattern of the collage. You can go up here and combine more than one photo. You can create a GIF. You have a pre-built printer option. And then up here, you also have more tools like color picker, rename, screen capture in the bottom right. And when you're editing, you have save. And now let's see, we want to make that change. Let's apply it. So save. Now, once you're in the save, you see you have these different JPEG options, but you're not locked to a JPEG. You can save it as a project, which will save all your layers and changes and all that stuff so that you can go in there and retweak it without having to basically ruin your raw file. And then you can also do save as. You can save it as a JPEG, a PNG, a GIF, a BMP, or a TIFF. So you have quite a large variety of options. So if you're using a PNG photo, you can edit that and then re-export it back out as a PNG and keep your transparent background. That way you're not locked into having a solid color, color background, which a lot of programs cannot do. And now if we jump back really quick before I'm done with this video, if you go to the viewer, if you look down here, you have if you put this little arrow up, you have basics of your metadata. However, if you click info, you can show your full metadata. And that is my absolute favorite photo editor for a large variety of reasons, as you guys can see. I would also ask you guys that if you like this video, please like it. Please comment if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or want me to cover something in an upcoming video. Please subscribe to stay on top of all my new content. And if you want to support my channel even further, check out the Patreon link down below. Thank you guys once again, and y'all have a great day. Pip, 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 pip,